be doing much yet. Hurts! <laughs> Fallen leaves adorn my night! Look at you, Boozell! Pew pew! Oof, this lag a little bit. Hi, pretty.
God, speaking of new pillows. Uh, because it's actually a new bed. And they also got pillows with them too. Freaking $140 for a pillow. My mom is insane. Exciting!
Time to go. Leave everything on this journey to me. Blade is performing largely as I expected. Having gone so long without proper use and maintenance, it's become very difficult to use. Though he's making every effort to persevere, I do not think he can last much longer. Hmm. Something else on your mind? How strange. Rather than trying to control me, he is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Let's keep going. sense that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. He cannot hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. But what would that do to Amanome Yuya? I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. He's still trying to achieve his goal. like he's reached his limit. The sheen's grown a bit dimmer again. It doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as it did at the start. Perhaps this time, we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. True form? What are you talking about? Uh, huh? What the? Is this the same blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk! If you choose to continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat Samurai and Kairagi, much less the Almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged, but the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. 
It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. I finally figured out why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. my own blade. It's just more of the same. It's my lucky day. Just wind strike. A true Kaedehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. No one knew anything of my story throughout my travels, nor did I tell it to anyone. You are the first person to know the truth. I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too you have failed. Indeed. No matter how hard I tried, I could not attain that perfect harmony that your personal blade does with you. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor, and without proper maintenance, I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Perhaps I shall never reach that level of glory. Actually, this is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels in Liyue. Wh what? Forging and maintenance are both important for a blade, but they are not everything. This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power. Skill, blade, determination, and desire. All these must be aligned in the practice of Ishin art. <sighs> There is something else I must tell you. Though your maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past. It is the source of your mania and savagery. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, 
The part of you driven by Tatarigami was constantly trying to seize control of my body. I sensed it, but I couldn't change it. It is an integral part of my consciousness. I resisted its temptations because I wanted to save Amenoma Yuya. But I do not know whether you yourself have any intention of trying to fight it. I feel a great sense of regret for you. Since you embarked on a journey bound for a destination you were destined never to reach. The moment you embarked on this journey, you lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. It is the true source of your despair. He gave me everything. My life, my form, my consciousness and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, do not worry, from here on I shall forge your legacy. How could I go back on my word? I believe our bet is now settled. I have nothing further to say. Where are you going, Kazuha? He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. It was somewhere I've never been. A bladesmith lay quietly on the bed, his frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak, and his life near its end. A newly forged blade lay by his side, listening attentively to his final words. Wow! That was the Blade's memory, wasn't it? Indeed. While in exile in Snezhnaya, the bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge, not to vent his frustration and hatred, but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as Blade and Smith. That they were still worthy of being trusted. So that's the true story. But after that, the blacksmith's intentions were worked by the Tatari Gami, slowly turning his proud creation into the cursed Blade of today. Right. I believe the bladesmith might never have known that the power he worked with was that of the Tatarigami. The hatred within that power is what sent the blade down its ill-fated path. This blade has committed unforgivable atrocities, but only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its errors when it was losing its way. Shame it's too late now. Yes, it is too late. Time would not wait or stop because of his determination. While the world moved on, his ambition remained stubbornly stuck at that fleeting moment at the dawn of his journey. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. When I look back at the past, I can remember the day of my forging like it was just yesterday. 
I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. You are finally seeing reality clearly. Since we agreed to the terms of the bet, I will honor the agreement and release Amenoma Yuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. It is the entire purpose for my existence. So, may I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? Hey! Now you're adding yours into the mix, too? Jeez, don't push your luck, mister. It has to be done in this order. At least hear what I have to say. And if you don't agree, I will still release Ame no Mayuya as promised. My physical form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His attitude has grown a lot milder. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Let's hear it. Thank you all. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that, he never rose from his sickbed again. Nor have I ever had the chance to prove myself in battle sense. My fights were devoid of any noble meaning. They were merely the next step in my never-ending journey. The next in a long line of transgressions. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. Oh? And who would be the opponent? I will release Ame no Mayuya and restore his consciousness. Perhaps after that, you can convince him to commit to a fight with you. He must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. Understood. Then let's start by waking him up and seeing if he has the stamina and will to fight. I see. He used my body to inflict harm on others. I utterly despise him and his actions. But since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. I do not wish to be a mere victim in this story. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Tenryo Commission. Thanks for your help. Who knows how this would have ended without your intervention. All right, then let's move on. More Ronin could appear at any moment. We can't stay here. In any case, for a final duel, I think we should aim for a greater sense of ceremony.
Ad Astra Abyssal. Thank you for completing to Ad Astra. This reminds Paimon a bit of the Crux Clash! Yep, we still can't let our guard down. Even now, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Blade hasn't told us everything. Still, even if he's way past the point of redemption, it's hard not to feel a teensy bit sorry for him. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. All right, then. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art, Amenome Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also. It's fine. Time to go. Clouds high. The birds call. Wind strider. Thank you for the experience. Although he appears battered and broken, in your hands it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance. His sense of savage cruelty has completely faded away. But that same sense of determination remains strong. You also fought well. I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I shall leave him to tell you himself. I must apologize to you for all that has transpired. You need not seek my forgiveness, nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. It is too late for all of that. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions as mine alone and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin art. I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaede Hara Kazuha. I beseech you, please understand this. Yes, I too trust Mr. Kaede Hara to do the right thing. Thank you, successor of Amenoma art. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. <laughs> he would like to visit the Amenoma smithy. Maybe we can go back there together. What does he want to go there for? I'm not sure, but I think that all this is about to come to an end.
It's Yuya! You have returned! I am sorry to have troubled you. It's all thanks to them that I was able to return safely. A prized Ishin blade. Turned weapon that controls the human mind. Huh. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity. But I have some good news as well. Ryuji from the Bantan Sango Detective Agency tells me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Really? Is he okay? Yes. Badly wounded, but he will live. And now that Yuya is back, it seems like the final ending to this story is a happy one after all. I think I know what you want to do. What's wrong, Kazuha? Is the blade whispering in your ear again? Yes. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. What? No way! Hasn't it learned its lesson? He tells me that he's thought of another way to fulfill his Maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. I have decided to let him do it. Thank you. I will explain my reasons later. Okay. I am ready. Let us begin. Please, stay true to your promise. <sighs> my power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> you were right. There's nothing that I can accomplish now. But there's still a chance for Ishin art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. <laughs> Ishin lives on, and its finest hour is yet to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishin blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final <clears throat> wish. Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I'm ashamed to utter it, yet it remains strong in my mind. Kagotsurube Ishin. This name is now yours to keep. Rest in peace. So... That's why he said it had to be done in that order. His consciousness will disappear forever after fulfilling the bladesmith's wish. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. It seems like deep down, he disapproved of his own actions. And thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments, before his consciousness faded, was he willing to entrust it to another. Seems like he really, really wanted to fulfill his maker's wish. The same fervent ambition that gave him the motivation to keep going forward also fueled the stubborn determination that blinded him to the path ahead. Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes than see him punished for them. I understand. Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Hearing his wish to rival the Divine Light 
touched something inside of me. Just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the Vision Hunt Decree did. Your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. Oh. After everything I've seen, perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. Wait, shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? Oh, you're right. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he made me. You've returned. I hear that the issue has been resolved. Uh, though this was a treacherous investigation indeed, we're most fortunate that no lives were lost. The Tenryo Commission has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation into Amanoma Yuya should conclude soon. I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. Wow, you sure kept your ear to the ground. Then we needn't recount all the details again. Now, as to your earlier offer, I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? Kagotsurube Ishin. A weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. Uh, I see. I understand. The Kaidahara clan has always been a family of bladesmiths, so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between the Shogunate and Sangonomiya. That would not suit me. Uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well, I can understand. Then let's pretend this offer was never raised. However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. Mr. Nagato's survival is the one silver lining in this whole catastrophe. We will continue to monitor his condition and hope he recovers soon.
Just fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. That hurts. Wind strike. Time to go. I'm going in. Leave it all to me. Time to clean up. Behold, the Princess and Deva Otello. Wish me luck. I will protect you. This world is full of unsolved...
What if the Traveler is also unavailable? What am I supposed to do? Well, that's your problem. It was your choice to get into this mess. Oh, but fortunately for you, it appears your savior has just arrived. Hmm? Ah, Traveler. Great, you made it. <laughs> well, it's not like you were ever really busy to begin with. Ugh, Songo! Compared to the Traveler, you're the one who has too much free time. No, I'm very busy. I'm busy standing here. I have to stand here all day. Even if it's a commission you're unwilling to take, your excuse is just pathetic. Yes, that's why I've asked you to come over. Allow me to explain. A key member of the Tenryo Commission has recently gone missing. No one has seen them, and their whereabouts are currently unknown. The Tenryo Commission has entrusted us to find this person discreetly because it would be a hassle for them to look for this person openly for a variety of reasons. Their name is... Kujosara. That's right. The General has gone missing. <sighs> if the General was really missing, the Tenryo Commission would have flipped Inazuma on its head by now. And do you think they would only commission us for a case like that? Please ignore Sango's nonsense, Traveler. In fact, the missing person's name is Shikanoin Heizo. He works as a special detective at the police station. Although his rank is merely a doshin, he is quite competent and held in high regard by the police station. Ugh. Do they think he's more competent than me? <sighs> we get that you don't want to help, Sango, but could you at least try not to make things more difficult here? Sorry, Traveler. Even though I accepted the commission, as you can see, Sango's less than thrilled to be involved in this case. Nope. Not even close. If you really want to know why, it's because I absolutely refuse to deal with that brat's nonsense. The only news that could make me happier than Shikanoin has gone missing would be Shikanoin has been missing for a hundred years. <clears throat> Needless to say, Sango and Heizo have a bit of a history. Um, uh, uh, well, it's a little more serious than that. According to Sango, Heizo was an obstacle in her path to the Temple of Truth. Like a yappy dog that was constantly in the way. <sighs> Even though Heizo has a unique personality, he's actually a nice guy. Really, I've learned a lot from him. So I can't just ignore this case, even if Sango doesn't approve. At the very least, I could entrust the commission to someone capable and trustworthy, like you, Traveler. Huh? No, no, it's not like that. Listen, I'll pay the entire amount originally promised by the Tenryo Commission, and I'll even personally throw in some additional funds. I'm really hoping you can take this commission, Traveler. If Heizo truly is in danger, I know he'll be safer with you by his side. Great. We've learned that Heizo had expressed interest in Watatsumi Island before he disappeared. During the war, he apparently carried out some mission on Watatsumi Island, and once the war ended, he made frequent visits to the island. I heard you have a good standing with Sangonomiya. I think it might be a good idea to use that as a starting point for your investigation. Well, that's about all I have to tell you. Oh! Please take this commission letter from the police station. If you find Hazo, return there and report back to them. Oh, it's you. The captain of Swordfish 2? My name is Shibata. I'm in charge of the watch here. May I inquire as to what the captain needs? So his name is Shikano Inhezo, huh? Yes, I'm familiar with the detective. He used to stroll around the area. Her Excellency had assigned me to keep a close eye on him at the time, fearing that he would do something unpleasant, but I eventually realized that he acted more like he was on a trip or something. Come to think of it, 
I believe he was recently spotted in the area east of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Please feel free to go there and take a look for yourself. Come on, you guys. I'm nothing but a poor tourist with empty pockets. Please, you can just let me go. Just shut up and stay put. Let's get down the ship. As one with wind and club. Take that. Steady as stone. Can't get cut to. Yeah. Teamwork is dream work. Off we go! To the yeah. very unknown height. Well, well, look who it is. I was wondering who could be valiant enough to wipe the floor with these guys so easily. Turns out it was the distinguished traveler. Really, I can't thank you enough. Of course I was aware of you long before you arrived in Inazuma. Though the Sakoku Decree managed to keep the country locked up, it wasn't able to stop the incredible stories about you. Every day, all of those little stories would come scurrying over to my desk, like files with little feet. I was actually thinking about going to meet you once I wrapped up the business at hand. Who would have guessed that you'd show up first? <laughs> ah, I got so excited, I nearly forgot to introduce myself. Ahem. The name's Shikanoin Heizo, Special Detective of the Tenryo Commission. It's a pleasure to meet you, Traveler. I wish you all the best on your journey through Tevat, by the way. Huh. I guess that means I've taken over as the main character in your story today. I've always heard that you take commissions from all kinds of people, helping everyone out with everything you can imagine. So now it's my turn to take your help, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That was already obvious to me. It's no coincidence that you've arrived here. Because that would be the stuff of an epic novel. The two protagonists of the story both travel to Watatsumi Island by chance and cross paths as if by fate. The Traveler from afar heroically rescues the weak and defenseless detective from the clutches of the ruthless Nobushi. <sighs> Traveler, you are so dreamy. Unfortunately, though, I don't believe in coincidences. So... Guessing you came to me on the police station's commission, didn't you? I'm a detective. <laughs> Can you guess what gave it away? <laughs> Sounds like you already have some ideas about the work of a detective. Let me ask you this. What's that your little sidekick is holding? 
If I'm not mistaken, it's a commission letter from the police station. Yeah, I'm also just taking a look. Hmm. She can look, but you can't. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be like that. After all, this is the first time I've seen a voice. I must admit, I'm most intrigued. Huh? Voice? What are you talking about? A vision is an external magical focus, right? Well, similarly, a voice is an external voice box. I've heard that the Traveler isn't very talkative, but given how chatty you are, you must be her voice, right? Nobushi, weren't you? Mm, pretty suspicious if you ask Paimon. Come out with it, mister. What kind of schemes are you up to? Sheesh. For someone who says they don't want to be a voice, you sure do talk a lot. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me think for a moment. Yes, all this started a long time ago, during the war. Kujo Takayuki, who was head of the Tenryo Commission at the time, had secretly asked me to investigate the military capabilities of Sanganamiya. But I had already grown tired of the guy for a while, <laughs> so I simply treated the trip as a paid vacation. I had heard that Watatsumi Island is really beautiful. As for the mission, I thought I'd just come up with some random excuses or whatever when I reported back. But guess what? The first night I arrived on Watatsumi Island, I had a dream. The dream contained only one message, an echo resounding from the depths of the earth that kept ringing in my ears, saying... Something vital is missing on this island. Isn't that bizarre? Something vital has gone missing on this island. Has something evaporated into thin air? Hmm... What could it be? Paimon bets it must be something delicious. You know, because the soil of Watatsumi Island can't grow crops. There's a shortage of food here. Oh. Food, huh? Hmm... How about you, Traveler? What do you think is missing? You mean the Great Serpent? Well, that's an interesting answer. But the Electro Archon hasn't abandoned this place. Interestingly, I didn't have the same dream again after I left this place. So I became even more intrigued. Was this really just some random dream? Some people believe that dreams represent the Divine's helping hand, which I suppose is understandable. However, if you ask me, dreams have nothing to do with the gods. Instead, they are flashes of intuition. 
It was my intuition telling me that there was something important about this island that... Poof! Suddenly vanished. So I decided to accept this little commission from my intuition and investigate to see if I could come up with any compelling findings. Unfortunately, the investigation has had little progress up to this point. Who knows? I felt there was something peculiar about them, so I pretended to get captured to see if there were any leads that would surface. And that's when you showed up. Nah, don't worry about it. These guys were just a bunch of small fries. Besides, your arrival is much more important to me. I have a feeling you can help me find the answer to my dream. So how would you like to partner up on this one? We can work together to solve the mystery. Yes, of course, I understand. But let me ask one more question. Did the police station say they are looking for me because of something important? Well, then it's probably nothing major. Most likely, they're short on staff or something petty like that, and they happen to remember their model employee. So since we're already here, why don't we just solve this puzzle together? Once everything is settled, I'll gladly accompany you back to the police station, or anywhere else you'd like to go. What do you think? <laughs> it's a deal then, partner. So, let's get started, shall we? First, we can search the camp for clues. Hey, isn't this crystal narrow? So, have you found anything? Yes, I've found pretty much the same. And there really are a lot. Aren't these all super expensive? Oh, these must be the valuable things that went missing from the island! That's it! The Nabushi must have stolen them all! <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. The Nabushi would be very hard-pressed to find many opportunities to get their hands on commodities like these. Did the Nabushi gather all this themselves? No, that's unlikely. Crystal marrow is a rare material for crafting weapons, and Sango pearls are an even more precious commodity. Here's what I think. Due to Watatsumi's poor soil, the island's economy is quite fragile and heavily reliant on the trade of these special resources. So, it's absolutely vital that they keep them under lock and key and well out of the Nobushi's reach. Which means, they got lucky with a huge batch like this. My guess is they ambushed a caravan. <laughs> if we go ask around the Sanganamiya Shrine, we can find out if there have been any recent instances of caravans being plundered. Perfect. I knew you'd be a huge help. <laughs> well, duh! The Traveler is Paimon's companion, after all.
Captain, I see you found the detective. <sighs> Watatsumi Island sure is a beautiful place. I don't think I could ever leave. <laughs> you can stay as long as you like, granted you don't cause any trouble, that is. Her Excellency has stated that all friendly visitors are welcome. Incidents of stolen goods? Not that I'm aware of. Her Excellency has recently launched several measures to boost the economy, including the development of trade routes and establishing our own caravans. Troops have also been deployed to protect them, so it is only reasonable to assume that the current trade routes are already very safe. Any looting or theft would be practically unthinkable. That's strange. Then where did the Nobushi get those goods from? Huh? You mean you found goods of unknown origin? Yep, and it's all Sango pearls and crystal marrow, so we know it's local. Could there have really been a theft that hasn't been reported? That shouldn't be the case. <sighs> well, perhaps you could go ask Todoroki. He's responsible for the caravans and is usually in the village at night preparing the goods. If something has happened, he should know about it. Great. Thank you for all the info. Let's go. Hey, Traveler! It's been a while. I've missed you. Uh, why didn't you inform me that you'd be coming over today? Ah, uh, General Goro. You're dismissed, Shibata. You may go about your other duties while I catch up with the Traveler. Yes, General Goro. I overheard you discussing a case of stolen goods. Is that right? That's right! We found a lot of Watatsumi's valuable products in a Nobushi camp! I see. So you've come to ask if we know of any relevant cases. Well, I'm ashamed to say that, yes, the caravans have been plundered. And not just once, I'm afraid. We had already dispatched additional forces to protect the caravans, yet the crooks still managed to get away with the goods. And you're concerned that if this kind of news were to get out, it would undermine the confidence of other caravans. So you didn't make it public, and instead kept the news to only a select few. Ah, huh, that's correct. I never expected you to be so concerned about Watatsumi's affairs, Detective Heizo. <laughs> Just a force of habit, really. As a detective, I notice these kinds of things. Oh, so you two already know each other? Actually, I've only heard of Detective Hazo from the soldiers' reports. We've never met in person. Ah, darn it. You're right. Now that you mention it, I've been on Watatsumi Island all this time and still haven't properly introduced myself. And alive. Please forgive me. It's a pleasure to meet you, General Goro. I'm Shikanoin Hazo of the Tenryo Commission. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you too. I'd like to express my gratitude to you for stepping in and helping recover those goods. Ah, don't mention it. You never know what you'll find when you're out for a stroll. But, if the source of the problem is not addressed, I'm afraid this sort of situation will continue cropping up for you. Yes, of course. Not only have we reassured the affected caravans, but we also dispatched personnel to investigate the culprits. The reports indicated that the stolen goods were being delivered to a merchant of the International Trade Association named Godot. It all seems pretty unusual. We suspect that there are bigger players behind Godot, and that their target is none other than Watatsumi Island's valuable resources. But unfortunately, it would be difficult for us to investigate further, given that... Given that, Rito, the island where the International Trade Association is located is not part of your territory, yes. They have cleverly picked their base of operations. I can see you catch on quickly, Detective Hazo. <laughs> It's my guess that you're telling us this because you're going to ask us to assist you in finding who's behind all this, right? <laughs> you're always thinking one step ahead. Yes, those were exactly my intentions. And of course, we will prepare a generous reward for you. The recent end of the war, trade and commerce have now become an important component of Watatsumi Island's development. Ensuring safety of the trade routes is critical, and we can't afford any further incidents. So... Will you please help Watatsumi Island, Detective Hazo? I'm willing to assist, but it all depends on what she wishes. Great! With both Detective Hazo and the Traveler on the case, I'm sure it'll be solved in no time. 
The situation is now in your capable hands. I look forward to hearing your report when you get back. All right, we'll take care of it. Traveler, let's go discuss where to head from here. Exercise caution when traveling to Rito. If you come across any unexpected dangers, retreat first. Your safety is the priority. You must approach this issue with a long-term strategy in mind. Perceptive. Seems even Paimon has her moments. Let me ask you, do you believe in intuition? Huh? Intuition? Where are you going with this? My intuition tells me that General Goro is lying. What? How could you say that? Uh, although he did seem a little on the serious side today, but Goro's a good guy. Good people can be deceptive, too. After all, everyone has their secrets. Well, in my opinion, the timing of his appearance was a little too coincidental. Sanganamiya's soldiers have been keeping an eye on me for the entire time I've been on Watatsumi Island, yet I had never seen General Goro even once. But today he came out and met with us, and even commissioned us to investigate a case. Maybe that's because the Traveler is here today, and Goro thinks she's more capable. Really? Huh. Then that makes things even more peculiar. If there are powerful players behind this case, and he needs to draw upon external support, then he should have taken action sooner rather than wait until today. A more plausible explanation is that the items we discovered are linked with some unspeakable secret, and he had to intervene to prevent us from digging any deeper. Then he put up a smokescreen to mislead us. I surmise that investigating the merchant Godot on Rito will yield no results. Whoa! Are you serious? Uh, but this is all just a hunch you have, right? Actually, there is another key factor behind my reasoning, though you may not believe me. I sense something... special about Goro. Something special? Yes. Whatever is missing on this island, I sense it in him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there! Are you saying Goro's a thief? As in, he took something valuable? It's not that simple. I can't fully explain it. It's just my... Uh, intuition. Sure, I trust your judgment. But perhaps you're overlooking someone else, the true leader here. Being too suspicious, am I? Well, even suspicious people have their duty to uphold. <laughs> In which case, I'll stay here and get back to you once I figure out what the secret of this place is. Oh my god. Clouds hide. The birds call. Bellowing thunder. Let's light it up.
Time to go. Wind strike. Everybody stand back. Take this. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Leave it all to me. As a good knight should. As one with wind and cloud, wind strike. Lightning flash! I must leave no stone unturned. Wind strike. Huh? Steady as stone. Time to clean up. Clouds high. The birds call. Everybody stand back. Let's light it up. Lightning flash. Leave it all to me.
I must leave no stone unturned. Wind strider. Take this. Bellowing thunder. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Wind strider. It's fine. That hurt. Lightning flash. Steady as stone. As a dutiful maid would. Shots of tip clouds high. The birds call. Everybody stand back. Adventure time. Lightning flash! Thunderclap! Fallen leaves adorn my night! 
Wind strike. I must leave no stone unturned. Lightning flash. Let's light it up! I'm going in! Leave it all to me, as a dutiful maid would. Huh. Uh. 
Human strength. <laughs> Fallen leaves adorn my nights. Steady as stone. Take this. Wind strider. Picked the wrong time to go. Subject. Lightning flash! <laughs> Teamwork is dreamwork! Clouds high. The birds call! Take this! I must leave no stone unturned. Everybody stand back! Huh? It's a lightning flash! Wind strike! Take this! I'm going in! Let's light it! Wind strike!
as a good knight should. Wind strike. Lightning flash. <laughs> Wind strike. Falling leaves adorn my nut. Teamwork is dreamwork. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to can... <laughs> 